hey, it's another birthday. June the 30th from the Secret Language of Birthdays. Today's a special shout out to my new friend Liam. He turned 16 on June the 30th, so happy birthday Liam. Hope you had a fantastic day. So, June the 30th, the day of motivation. It is extremely difficult to get June the 30th people to do something toward which they are not personally motivated. Those born on this day are usually two types, introvert or extrovert, both of whom have highly personal goals. Their world is indeed a private one to which very few are admitted. More introverted June the 30th people will most often manifest a lifestyle in which they stick close to home often working out of their own house. Their lives are so well circumscribed that favourite haunts are basically just an extension of the home situation, safe, secure and known. More extroverted during the 30th people may appear to be mild-mannered until they reveal themselves in a performance situation. Here they must be careful that their flamboyance does not get out of control like to be able to fly on the wall for that one. Almost all June 30th people have highly developed technical talents, even to the point of veracity. They make formidable opponents really at a loss to defend themselves. This ability, however, is most often exclusively either mental or physical. More introverted June the 30th people must be aware of a tendency to repress their aggressions. Often those born on this day are unable to express these feelings out of fear that they will endure themselves or someone else or injure, sorry, injure themselves or someone else. A more introverted during the 30th person expresses his or her aggression being extremely competitive but runs the risk of becoming violent. Such a person is a fascinating but dangerous adversity. Paradoxically, however, when these extroverts are alone with those that they are comfortable with or publicly engaged in discussion, they can give the appearance of passivity, even docile, dos docility, that's how you say it. <laughs> Both types of June the 30th people frequently appear to be, on the other hand, what they really are, depending on the situation. Who is present and their moods, which are generally more severe in men than in women born on this day. This quality may make them somewhat mysterious. Those born on this day are often unknown even to themselves. They will benefit from self-examination. During the 30th, people have an undeniable talent for handling money. Whether their own or others, their astute financial sense often attracts others to them and puts them in a position to give helpful advice. They are extremely sharp in making cost calculating, thus maximizing profit while minimizing expense. Good person to have around. The personal motivation at work in June the 30th people often manifests in a hobby or or an out-of-the-way pursuit which interests them still more than their profession. And they will not hesitate to pour unlimited energy into this area. When, however, they are in touch with their environment and the wishes of others, they can also be valuable contributors to society at large. Those born on this day should actively seek out activities involving trust, give and take and social exchange. Because June the 30th people will only let very few into their private world, being close as their friend can be a true compliment. Oh, how nice is that? That's lovely. I think that's a really nice thing to say about anyone, really. <laughs> Those born on the 30th of the month are ruled by the number 3 and by the planet Jupiter. Those ruled by the number three tend to rise to the highest positions in their sphere and during the 30th people are no exception. Those ruled by the number three often love their independence, 
Jupiter lends an optimistic and expansive social outlook to June the 30th. People, if only they can release its energy. The added influence of the moon, ruler of cancer, grants strength of character and also moral courage. Health. June the 30th people must be aware of hypochondria based on a host of minor complaints. Upsets the digestive system, lungs and psyche are most common. As far as diet is concerned, those born on this day must be aware of a tendency not to eat during times of depression. Balance is the key for them and they should avoid or control uh, and they should avoid or control your food binges, cravings or obsessions if possible. Some June the 30th people will only eat food cooked by someone they love and trust. They should, of course, know how to cook for themselves and at the same time treat themselves a bit more gently. Moderate exercise such as walking or swimming is recommended for those born on this day. Advice. Learn to like yourself more. See what you can do for others. Channel your aggression into creative pursuits if possible. Uncover your fears and work on them. Don't allow yourself to retreat into a shell. Meditation. First man learned to stand. Then he learned to sit. Interesting. Strengths for June the 30th people. Technically proficient, money wise and motivated. Weaknesses, moody, repressed and negative. So that is June the 30th uh, from the Secret Language of Birthdays, the Day of Motivation. Thanks for listening and bye for now and happy birthday Liam. See you next time. She slept through the whole lot. <laughs> Tahi, should we go to get... <laughs> We've got to go out so... Hey. Say hello. Bye for now.